what's up guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to teach you guys how to convert decimal numbers into binary numbers and let's get started so for my next for my first problem here all right so we're going to do let's do red done so for my first problem i'm going to do uh 42 and convert it into binary or yeah binary so in order to solve this problem you gotta do what do I do? 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and then 128. Oh, I ran out of space. Let me rewrite it. Okay. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. All right, to solve this problem, I'm going to change the color. We have to find a way or any number on this, uh, you know, screen to convert 42 to subtract it, but without going over it. So, for an example, okay, so we have 42, right? So, the only number we can go, it's 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. But we got to get to closest without going over, which is 32. So, now we're going to subtract it to 32. So basically, it's going to be like 42 minus 32, which is 10. So we got 10, right? So now we got to, let me circle it so I make sure that I mark it. Let me do a different color. So now we got to go somewhere without going over 10, which is 8. So we subtract 10 minus 8, which is 2. And now to solve this, is basically we have to do 2, 2 minus 2, which is 0. Okay, so that's how you convert it. So now basically, it's going to be, um, how did I do this? Oh yeah, okay. So now we got to do, so because since we had to go to the uh, first real number, which is number, uh, which, you know, binary is 1 and 0. So the only real numbers there are is number ones. So we go to ones that are circled, and then those are ones that are real numbers, right? So we put one there, right? We go next to it, which is 16. You add a zero, eight, one, four, one, uh, zero, two, one, one, zero. The reason why we don't go anywhere past the, the you know, 128, 64, we don't add any zeros is because we don't need it. Uh, we already know there's zeros. So basically, this is your answer. It's 101010. Zero, one, zero, one, zero. That's, your, that's your final answer. And this is how you convert uh, decimal numbers into binary. So basically, the answer for this one is that. Um, so let's do problem number two. So for problem number two, we're going to do, we're going to convert uh, 73. And the reason why I'm looking off over here is because I have my paper of like my problems I wanted to work on with you all. So I'm trying to solve those. So that's the reason why I'm looking away sometimes. But also I have my tablet here working on it to show you guys. So for this one, we're going to do 1, 20, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and 64, okay? So for, oh, 128, uh, let's do one, well, we don't, we don't need it right now because we can't go any past it. Okay, so for this one, so 73 without going over is 64, right? So we put 64 here. So basically it's going to be like 73 minus 64, which would be 9. And without going over is 8, so it's, oops. So basically 9 minus 8 which is 1 and without going over it's 1 so it's 1 minus 1 which is 0 so this is how you what you have left with this three numbers so now here you go down we add 1 I like to put in the arrows first before putting it 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 so now your final answer is this one zero so I'm gonna write it down here. 
one zero zero one zero zero one. That's your answer. So now let's erase this and let's solve problem number three. So for problem number three, let's do um let me find my eight, eight problems here. I wrote more problems here I wanted to solve because I saw this in my math homework or my homework for binary or computer science and I found them very important to show you guys. Okay, here it is. So it's 128. So for my next one, it's 128. So this one is very, 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 very confusing if you guys don't know. Actually, no, this one's simple. So for this one, we add, add the arrow in. One, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, and from sixty-four is one twenty-eight. So you see, you got the answer here. So you just circle it. So it's one twenty-eight minus one twenty-eight. You can't do anything with that, so it's going to be zero, right? So from here, then you just bring the arrows down, which I didn't think it was going to be that simple until I saw I found the uh, I saw the answer. And I realize that's how it is. I think this is the simplest one that we have so far. So your answer is one zero 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 zero. That's your final answer for this one. So let's erase this one. And let's work on a different one. Okay, so now for my next one, let's do um Let's work on 63. 63 is so like a popular uh, question that I want to go over with you all too. So let's do 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. Anything that goes over it, it will be 32. Oh no, yeah, yeah, 32. So 32. So basically 63 minus 32. So we just add, I forgot to add these ones. So basically 63, 63 minus 32, which is 31. Okay, so we have 31 here. So now we gotta figure out how to solve it. So 31, so next one is 16. So 16. So 31 minus 16, which is 15. We got one over is 8 plus 8 minus 8. So the 15 minus 8 is 7. Plus 4 minus 4, which is 3. So we got 2 at 2 minus 2, which is 1. And then you, you got the one left over. Minus one is zero. Okay, so now you got this right. So now you bring the zeros in, which I, I just as extra, but you guys don't have to do it. So one, 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 one. So this is your answer. So your final answer is one, 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 one. So six ones. Okay, so that's your final answer. So if y'all think this is uh, productive and y'all like this, um, make sure to press on the like button. And if I like on this video, I upload part two, and I'll keep working more problems with this. Uh, I feel like, like I mentioned last video, this is very important for anyone who's studying those, um, because you know, computers they they are binary numbers are one and zero. And they're very important. You need to know them if you're studying anything with technology. Um, so if you guys want to know this, um, I'll be making more videos of this uh, to teach you guys who I know. And what I learned in mechatronics engineering, if you guys are pursuing that, or if you're pursuing computer science, I can try to help you. Because I'm taking computer science one class. So we'll see if, uh, if, I, if I'll be able to teach you all. But uh, computer science has been fun, you know, if y'all are interested in that, it's been very fun. It's a lot of programming, um, which I like programming. I did in PLCs last semester, or no, last year. And uh, and now I'm taking it 
for computer science, which I'm learning C++, and it's been very fun. Um, but thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.